Now you probably want to add pages. I created an About Me page and put some text. Now you want your pages to be a page with right sidebar template. Okay? So choose that on all of your pages. If you wanted to change the order of your pages other than alphabetical, you can number them one, two, three, or whatever. I set a featured image by clicking on Add Featured Image. I uploaded my picture. Again, about files, file size has got to be very small file size. Now, one of the things I wanted you to do is to insert a Web 2.0 introduction of yourself. So I've got some text here, and I'll come down. Now, in PhotoCube 3D, I have inserted or uploaded different pictures of my family and you can play with how this looks that alpha makes it gives it kind of a see-through look the glow you see take the glow off take alpha off uh, let's put the glow back on okay so you upload you browse pick your picture from your computer and hit upload on every one of them then you copy the HTML code. So it has copied onto my clipboard all this text right here. Then I go back to my page and simply paste Command V. You don't have to worry about what all that says. Just copy it and paste it there. Hit Update. Now go to your website. Hit Refresh, which is Command R. To reload the page and there it is. You can even run your mouse over it to speed it up or turn it a different way. And that is a page with my featured image, my text, and my uh, Web 2.0 introduction. Now, you'll want additional pages. You'll want an instructional design page where you will put your instructional design project. You'll want a technology projects page. And this is where you will embed your technology projects. Now embed means that it actually plays and displays on your website. It's not a link to another page. For example, here's an Animoto video that I did about a year and a half ago. I'm going to click on embed. Here's the text for embedding the HTML code. I'm going to click here, copy to clipboard. It's copied. I'll close this, go back to my page, and say my Animoto project, and I'll paste that code. I'll hit update. Go to my page, click on my technology projects page, and there is my video embedded. That means it plays right here on my website. I can play it. Okay, I'm not going to play the whole thing and bore you with that. All right, so maybe you have some other uh, projects. You will have other projects. Let's say you do something like a voice thread. All right, here's one that's been filled out. A lot of people have responded to it. 
I want to embed from the menu there. Here's the code. I want to copy the code. Close this. Go to my page. Paste that code. Update. I'll go to my page, and it's not there yet because I haven't reloaded the page. So Command R to reload. And now I have a voice thread that you can play right here. Most any project that you do in a Web 2.0 tool has a place where you can copy the embed code. And all you have to do is paste it into your page. Now you want to do that when the text here is selected, not the visual, because this text is HTML code. So you want to paste it on that area. And that concludes this video.